All right, let's go eat. What do you say, Brittany? I absolutely agree. Okay, as we mentioned earlier, Tukos is here with us for the first time in our yes. kitchen. Yes. We've got JoJo and Andrew. That's right. Whipping up some shrimp tacos. Yes. Andrew, are you working hard? Yes. <laughs> what do you got there? What have you done so far? I uh, just got the griddle hot. Okay. Put some oil down and put the shrimp on. And now blacken one side, clip cool. it, add a little bit more. Mm hmm Okay. And what exactly Flavorful. are yep. we using? Like, what are the ingredients for this? Well, shrimp what we're using there are our jumbo twenty one twenty five um, shrimp. Um, you know, we obviously grill those. The spice he puts on there is a blackening spice. Okay. If you're not familiar, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Mm -hmm. um, not too overbearing, but you definitely can taste a little spice in there. Um, and then what we do at Tuco's is we give you your choice of tortillas with any taco we make. Mm -hmm. They're all soft. None of them are the hard shell tacos, but we've got both corn and flour tortillas, which are right over there on the other side. And uh, so you choose your, your uh, tortilla. We grill up the shrimp for you fresh as you order it. Yep. Um, and then over here um, are the toppings that we will be putting on the, the tacos, which we've got here. Our chipotle cream, which you probably can't see through the bottle, but it looks like that. Yeah. Um, we, <laughs> and got, it's yummy. Just, <laughs> yes. just, that's all you need to yes, know. Yes, that's it. It's really good. Uh, this right here is a, a red cabbage slaw. Mm. Um, it's vinegar based because with the fish it gives it a nice uh, yeah. you know, combo flavor. Um, we top it off with a pineapple pico that we make in-house. Um, so that's got fresh pineapple in there, tomato, which we use Roma tomatoes for our stuff, okay. red onion, jalapeno, fresh cilantro, yeah. um, salt and pepper too, just to add a little flavor. Okay. Top it off with a little fresh cilantro and uh, a nice lime wedge. I've, I always, um, I've never gotten the shrimp tacos before. I always get the El Jefe. Oh, yes. Which yes. is delicious. It's pork. Delicious. You know, pork. El, it is so pork. good. And El Jefe, actually, um, that's where our concept came from. We're part of the Parry Restaurant Group. Yeah. And El Jefe is our sister taqueria, which is out in Lynchburg. Right, yeah. So oh. that's where that's where the uh, El Jefe taco, it's a tribute to our, our original. I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's a darn taco. good taco, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It definitely is. Uh, the pork. All of our meats are made fresh in-house daily, mm -hmm. so we come in in the morning and we make them for you there. We've got a, a nice braised beef, which has got a little bit of a kick again, but nothing too overbearing uh, on the spice. Right. A roasted chicken option, and then the El Jefe or pork option. Um, we do offer vegetarian options. We've mm -hmm. got portobello tacos. That's the one I usually um, get. Yep, the, the, the bean, the yeah. black bean tacos mm -hmm. right. as well. Oh, so um, and then a potato taco. And then uh, even a chorizo, which is um, a nice spicy Mexican sausage, a very popular um, taco with us. Probably the most popular, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It? yeah. A chorizo mm -hmm. taco. Really? Okay. Yep. All right. All right. And I guess, I guess we should right? start putting yeah, this together. I'm sorry. That. I could talk for days. Oh, man. I could listen to all <laughs> these ingredients. But so we, we've got the flour uh, tortillas there. And then we take a little of the red slaw. We put it on as the base on here. And then um, after that, we're going to put a little bit of our uh, house-made chipotle cream, okay. which that's that little orange color you got there. Now, the chipotle cream we do make in-house. If you're making it at home, um, you know, you could use Google or you could use our recipe, which is probably a lot better. Yeah. Uh, it's mayo, chipotle, canned chipotles. Um, it okay. is the oh. ones used that are sitting in the, the marinade. And then we also use um, uh, uh, sriracha and a little bit of garlic. Really? So it's, yeah, it's, it's that's, a, that's simple, huh? Yeah, yep. it is that simple. That Blend good. it all together and you've got yourself some Chipotle cream. Yeah. And uh, again, you know, our stuff being made fresh in-house, it's made to order when you order it. So mm -hmm. um, we are very quick. So if you're looking for a quick lunch option downtown, I know people yes. don't always have that the time nice. to sit around. Yes, exactly. Um, you can be in and out within 20 minutes. And if you have some time, get a margarita. The margaritas are yes. great. Liquid lunches could be, you know, favorite <laughs> of some people out there too. <laughs> But, no problem with but that. But yeah, we do. We offer uh, different flavored ones as well. So now you see how the uh, shrimp sits on top of that. It gets topped off with a little bit of that pineapple pico combo there. Mm -hmm. And we just top that off. Look at the colors on that. Yeah, ni nice, little, yeah. nice little, nice little blend and there. And then the, the cilantro, mm. which, uh, you know, the cilantro adds a little bit of flavor. But again, as you were just mentioning there, you gave away the secret. It's mainly for color. Oh, cool. um, and then uh, just a nice little fresh lime wedge on top of it. Yeah. Jojo, Guys, so, thank, thank you, you so much. No problem. Much. No much. No problem. And we can uh, share, the, share the recipe on our website, DaytimeBlueRidge.com. Just look for the shrimp tacos. Yeah. Yes. We'll be seeing you soon. You're located on so. sale <laughs> <laughs> right down the street. That's I know. Right. Easy for you guys. <laughs>